But in the name of politics, we're going to deny those states that are struggling, those governors that are struggling with the ability to do this. And under the rules, as, as the memorandum has suggested, they would have to show a, a very substantial increase in moving people from welfare to work. Supposedly, that's the goal of everybody who is a member of this body. But politics has overwhelmed that. If you had these concerns, we could have fixed it and moved on with getting people off of welfare to work. But we will leave here with some kind of political statement, a hollow political victory that means nothing except that those people will still be waiting to get off of welfare and go to work. The governors will still be waiting to implement the program to get them off of welfare and go to work. And the Congress will go home in the face of the desperate need of these people to acquire these skills to improve their talents, to provide for their families, to feed their kids, to educate them, to provide for their health care. The Congress will go home. It won't give the governors this authority because it'll look bad for their presidential candidate. It won't, they won't give the governors this authority because they can score a point here. Those governors weren't trying to score a point. They were trying to score some jobs. They were trying to score some jobs for their citizens. But political games are going to win out here because the clock is running out on this Congress. So we could have helped those governors. You could have tweaked this. So you could have said you changed from what President Obama wanted. And we could have gone on and people could have had opportunity in America. You keep saying you're for it. You just don't get around to providing it.